here we have a very beautiful laptop. It's the Asus TUF Tough Gaming Series. It's the F506i model. It's got a 144Hz gaming LCD. It's one of the most expensive screens I have replaced for 15.6 inch for laptops. And um, I've got my little two-year-old next to me who will be watching me and assisting me during this process. So it should be funny to watch his fingers crawl around the table. But here we go, you can see there is a crack on the screen unfortunately. They press and hold that side a little bit too hard. And there we go, broken. So we're going to try and attempt to fix this. Um, the screen is actually just mounted with double side tape on either side. Uh, it's like the ones they use on the iPhone batteries, which you can pull the tabs really long all the way. It's actually on the bottom of the LCD. Uh, you will see me attempting to use um, hot air gun, I mean hot air, just to soften it. I didn't realize there was the tabs, but I did figure it out um, um, early on. And just pulled the tabs and the LCD came out of its position. When you put it back on, you do, you do need to be careful how you put it back on. Um, there is, you have to make sure it's nice and secure, properly placed. And also put new double side tape to make sure it's secure. So you can see the um, finger is there in the bottom left corner. That's the little two-year-old who's watching me do all this work. And I'll give him a prime seat later on where he can put his hands into things. Okay, so let's see how we go. So now what I'm doing here is I'm going to disconnect the battery. This is the main purpose of removing the bottom cover because there is a high chance you might short the, um, uh, the power lines, power rails of the power cable to the LCD. Don't forget, even though the screen is off, computer is off, there's always power on that uh, pin. It's about 24 volts, I believe. And um, when an enabled signal is sent, then the screen turns on. But the voltage is always present on the connector. So you need to be really careful. That's why I recommend always um, disconnecting the battery just to be safe. And also, obviously, have no charger connected. And this last screw didn't want to come out, so I'm going to leave it at that. And then use the prying tool, just let uh, pry from the top left corner. Oh, where did that screwdriver go? Naughty. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> he knows where the holes are. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Let's continue along. <laughs> that's so funny. If it does any damages, we'll pay for it, no problem. Let's continue. I'll give him some bubble wrap to play with. I should keep them busy. Most of parenting is about distraction. That's number one truth about parenting. Let's continue along. Okay, so we pried our way here and there. There is a little finger there on the bottom. 
bit of an touching here so here is the battery connector uh, but I just want to show you around the laptop first if you're repairing this board you can see a little bit of the components where it was this and it has two RAM slots two nice big fans as well it has a dedicated GPU of course obviously a gaming laptop and the battery connector is in the middle so I'm going to disconnect that safely This is his favorite tool, the Xiaomi, the drill stick. He likes the LED at the end of it. All right, so we got the battery disconnected. Now we can work on the screen. Now it's quite easy to do to to get the bezel out. Um, and it's about three processes. So you need to remove the two screws on either side, and it just clips all the way around. Here goes the little monster again and so remove those two covers and then two screws and then use your fingernails or a prying tool to start from the edges the thin edges and make your all the way through now the bottom part is uh, actually a stuck together a double side tape so you can use a heat gun or just pry it out slowly take your time if your screen is already cracked you can be a little bit tougher but just try not to damage the bezel
and this part here can be tricky it just comes out so try and push it out and then pull it out in an angle so take your time you don't want to damage any of the clips as you're going to put it back and you want it to be nice and rigid when you put it all back so do one side first and then slowly make your way to the other side here we go it's coming out there we go nice now you do see a little bit of um, uh, frames disappearing I'm using a camera through the Wi-Fi so here is where I struggled a little bit unnecessarily um, there's actually two long tabs of uh, which you can pull which removes the double side uh, adhesive so you don't need to do what I'm doing here you can ignore all this just a little bit more down the video you will see the um, the tabs that I pull I'm still showing you here so you know that you know we all make mistakes and uh, but it's not a big mistake so let's continue along This is the part where I discovered the little tabs. Here we go. So you can use a sharp prying tool and just grab a little bit and keep twisting until you make a nice roll and then you can just start pulling it out. You can also apply a little bit of heat to loosen the double sides adhesive and it should all just come out. I do recommend washing your hands after this because you don't know what chemical they used here.
here we have our new screen and this screen is quite rare very hard to find I did manage to find it from one supplier which is good so if you ever need this um, replaced you can either bring it to us or you can buy the screen of us up to you just inquire through the information in the comment in the uh, description of the video and see if we can help you and this is a 144 Hertz screen don't forget not just a standard 15.6 inch full HD uh, it's also a matte finish which is beautiful ideal for gaming and usually IPS screens are all matte finish anyway we don't want to damage this or peel anything so I'm going to first test this screen before you know applying double side tape and sticking it to the screen just in, just to make sure it hasn't been damaged on the way here so we're gonna put we're gonna have to either put the battery back in now I haven't received the charger for this so I'm going to have to put the battery in if you have the charger you can just plug in your charger and turn it on at this stage to see if your screen works in my case I'm going to have to reconnect the battery so it's a bit dangerous I'll get it going now I feel confident this screen is actually good quality so I'm just going to put double side tape here and that's my little other one the four year old on the bottom left there they never stop fighting which is good that's what kids should be doing okay here we go Now one thing you need to know when you turn it on, if you remove the battery, don't panic if nothing comes on the screen, wait, because um, some laptops like this one, I haven't checked if there is a CMOS battery, but they don't have a CMOS battery, so the BIOS takes, uh, the motherboard takes a while to boot up, it sort of like reinitializes, you know, does a self check, a deep check before actually coming on, so give it some time, as you can see the keyboard lights did go off and then come back on, lights went off come back on so no panic give it some time wait for it to show the asus logo and hopefully the windows will start hmm, we got backlight and here is the asus logo and our windows 10 should start up shortly okay so this is good news so far and so the rest of the video is just about you know putting it back together I do recommend putting a double side tape on the bottom of the LCD like where the black strip is and that way the bezel can uh, hold it nice and secure uh, so there's no gaps and nothing falls inside okay so the rest of the video is just putting it back now I do recommend securing this um, LVDS connector if, uh, tape that will do so it doesn't come loose now we can remove our double side tape and then gently put the new screen on and position it correctly otherwise it will look ugly when you put it all back together you don't want any lines appearing around the frame that you put the screen too high or too low etc you just want to make it harder and harder without any frames around the screen to screw in 
it's cheaper for manufacturing I guess Okay, so we cleared the double side tape. Uh, where, this is where I actually put the uh, double side tape on the bottom panel, which I do recommend doing. So here we go. Let's um, let's cut some out. Nice. And now we can put it all back together and that should be it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching, like or subscribe, any comments, any questions, let me know. Thank you for watching, see you in the next one.
Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to support this channel.